So now, let's talk about something that maybe not too many people know about you, my friend. And that is your love of skateboards and the fact that you actually have made, you're not making them anymore right now at this moment because you're busy with the company, but you made some dingwall skateboards that are really off the hook. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Cool. Well, you know, um, skateboarding has been a huge part of my life. It was a career choice uh, that never panned out. I skated in the Canadian Nationals, realized very quickly that, that there's good and then there's like world class good, and and there was a big gap between me and world class. Um, but I still got to hang out with with these world class guys. Tony Hawk, you get to hang out with Tony. Did get to hang out with Tony Hawk, but I got to hang out with uh, Kevin Harris. Okay. And uh, Kevin went on to have a, a huge career in skateboarding, and and he was a great guy to hang out with. And we terrorized Vancouver, I tell you, for an entire week during the during the nationals. Uh, in a good way, good-natured guy, boys at that time, um, out having fun. It's always been really important to me, and anything that I've gotten into, I've also, in the back of my mind, whether it was mountain bikes or longboards, or you know, when I broke my leg, I invented crutches and things to, to make life easier. Uh, and the same thing with longboards, so I came up with a design for a longboard fit for the prairies, we don't have lots of downhills, so in the prairies, you need a, a board that's nimble, that you can um, scoot around and pump, and so this was designed for that, and, and it worked beautifully for that. Had the manufacturer in California, we brought the boards up here and did the finishing and assembly work here. It was a real fun project. That's amazing, so you're not making them anymore. It's something where if I wanted to just quit making bases, then I could focus on longboards and I could make that a company. We do have the name Dingwall trademark for both bass guitars and for longboards. <laughs> that is fantastic, man. That is so cool. We live in a, in a day and age where every, at least the, the, the stuff I'm interest, interested in, people are so advanced. Everybody that's building bases right now, all our contemporaries, the Federas, the Roscoe's, the Say's in the UK, all our friends in Germany and the US that build bases, these guys are so freaking good at what they do that if we're going to hang with those guys, we can't be building longboards and building guitars and, and tuning hot rods. We have to focus on bass and bass only or they'll just blow right past us. If you want to build longboards and you want to play at a world level, then you got to forget everything else and you just got to do that because the world of longboards is our enthusiasts and guys that eat, sleep, drink, and just do that all day long. You can't really divide up and be a, a, a renaissance man anymore if you want to be at a high level at anything. So you got to pick your battle and you got to go out there and stick to your plan. Laser focus. Laser focus. Oh yeah, you gotta love that. 